Okay, guys, now we need to basically dig below our piston doors. It doesn't matter if, um, it doesn't matter that we've built stuff on top because we're going to be digging uh, underneath them effectively, I should say. So, yeah, that's far enough down. Now I just want to check the alignment. Yep, okay, there's the wall there. I might knock this one out just so I can see a little bit better with what I'm doing. And dig back. We need to go in a fair way. And dig over here. Might dig this out and fast forward, guys. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm now I'm just going to walk over here and because I know where I want my power source to come from, I'm just going to be straight down. This is a little bit of a cheat, just so I can dig straight through to the hole I've just made. And now I know where to run my power lead, pretty straightforward. Okay, oh, it's going night guys, so I'll just be one sec. Alright, let's give this a crack. Oh, we got a little friend, okay. Yes, off with you. Okay. All right. So now we've cleared out a pretty decent space down here. And we know our power source is coming out to our right. We've got the hole in position. So basically now we just are going to build the XOR gate. Um, okay, I'm going to start up here, I think. Yes. Two, three, just in like that. One, two. Give myself a little bit of extra room. You wouldn't have to dig everything out quite as far as I have. But, um, yeah. Um, okay. That's essentially the configuration. I've, I've, I've just run out of redstone. I'll be two seconds. Okay, here we go. So two pieces of redstone on top of these blocks here. One each, obviously. Just chuck two more down there on either side of this central redstone torch. And then the last step is to just put blocks on top of the left and right redstone torches. Uh, and one over the top there. Okie dokie. Now, that is all there is to the XOR gate. Now, what this, what this will do is this will allow you to open up the piston doors from either inside or outside uh, it doesn't matter if once one lever is flicked and the other is not regardless of the situation of the controls it will give you two controls one for inside one for outside and wh whenever they're flicked they will activate the piston doors so it's a fairly important little device that we have now i'm just going to run the output down to the uh underneath the ground where we want the power to come through the ground that's why we dug down there before i'm just going to chuck a redstone torch on top of that block right there and that will transfer through the ground so we're just going to go back up for a second just going to go back over here and and fill this last hole in Okay, now we run and we can see that that's working there. That's perfect. Okay, obviously it's just on at the moment. Um, surely we will have that sorted. The last repeater can go right here again on the fourth tick. And um, that is our wiring complete all the way up and over and down the other opposite side. Okay, guys, as you can see, that's in position. Now it's not done. We still need to put the switches in in position but we're very close okay so we're just going to go back down in our little hole we're going to dig out directly from this sorry i probably spun around a little bit quick um we're just going to the the on and off switch needs to come from this left hand block and the opposing right hand block so if we just stand here dig that one that block out there we can put a switch directly above it once we've laid some redstone and the switch will power the XOR gate, which then runs down here. 
and uh, transfers the signal up to the rest of our setup. So it's all pretty straightforward. I'm just going to do the same on the right hand side. Okay, dig that one out, lay the redstone down to that. And um, okay, let's jump out of here. Okay guys, I just realized obviously I haven't gone over far enough one. No big deal, we just need to come in here and lay the redstone uh, one square extra back just so that we clear the edge of the um, of our wall. Uh, yeah, so now that's all good to go. We can well, actually I might come and fill that in from the top side so then I know where the lever is meant to go. So you can you can use you don't have to use a lever but I sort of like levers. Um, they, I don't know, just sort of feel, they feel a little bit medieval, and to me, I don't know, maybe that's a bit lame, but that's, uh, that's what I like to do, so, yeah, this, um, the other, the other side, I think's okay, uh, so, I'm not quite sure, no, I've gone too far over, alright, I might have to dig down and double check that one, let's go under here, might be the same, same routine, we might have to go over one more. So I'll just dig straight up. Okay. Oh, that was roughly right. Okay, one out. Okay. No big deal. Just like so. Redstone. Move the lever out. I'm sure you guys could make this more compact if you wanted, but for me, that's fine we've got our two levers in place and uh, the last thing to do is just chuck our blocks in and now we better make sure it's actually all working oh beautiful that's what I like I have to admit I've built it a few times so it should <laughs> bloody well want to work but yeah now just to quickly run over it real quick the X or gate that I installed underneath here. There's heaps of YouTube videos. I might try and find one uh, that's got a good tutorial. I'll even do a tutorial myself to, to, to just show you the, the workings a little bit better scenario. Under here it's a bit hard to show you guys exactly how it works piece by piece because we're, I can't walk far back and set up really easy to, easy to view redstone. But yeah, in a nutshell, we've got it all working. Uh, yeah, as long as as long as you do uh, copy this configuration on these end sections here, you shouldn't have any issues. If for some reason one of the blocks does not work, usually one of the bottom two, you can do this bottom section back to front. So what I mean is just like like this. Just move that block over one, run it down, and do that instead. Now, yeah, it may not seem like a big deal, but for whatever reason, because redstone works a little bit funky in multiplayer, uh, sometimes that can solve a few issues. Yeah, there we go. So in my case, I need to have it the other way around. As you can see, for no particular reason, that it just decides it, it doesn't want to work that way. But no big deal, we'll just put it back the way it was, and we're good to go. Easy as. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna pop out a few more of these tutorials. But yeah, that's about it, guys. That's my new door in place, ready to rock. And now I'm just gonna join the walls up and I'm done. So as always, guys, have fun. See ya.